Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a product page on Shopify. I'll be showing you how to write your product description and add your product categories, how to set up your shipping policies and your return policies. And then I'll be showing you how to add variants like sizing or color options to the product. And I'll show you how to set up your reviews. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, first you're gonna open Shopify and you're gonna click products, then click add product. And this will be the page where you can add your product info. First off, you're gonna wanna type in the product title. I'd recommend keeping your title short and simple. And right below that is where you can start doing the product description. You can use AI writing tools like ChatGPT to help you write your product description. First off, I'd recommend putting any important notes at the top of the description. For example, if you offer free shipping or if you don't offer free shipping, you wanna put that first thing at the top of the description just so customers will know. And you can mention if you're running any discounts or sales as well. So this first text is gonna just be an introduction to the product. Next, I'll be importing a picture for the product. You can do that by clicking this little image icon. I recommend importing pictures to help break up the sections of your description. Below that image is where you can import any unique features of the product. So if your product is handmade, you can highlight those features here. And I'd highly recommend creating these little titles for each section of the description. This way you can section it off. And right below that, I'm gonna import one more image. For these images, you can show close-ups of the product. And if there are different colors and sizes, you can show those here. By the way, I did use Canva to create these little graphics. I'm gonna insert some more text about the product. Then right below that is where you can insert the product features. You'll want to be very detailed about the features of the product and insert information like the product dimensions and the weight of the product. Then I'm gonna add a little ending description text. Really quickly, I'd like to thank Dot Store Domains for sponsoring this video. Before getting started on your website, a crucial step with your online business is choosing your domain name. Your domain name is like your online address for your business, and you'll want to carefully choose one that represents your brand and increases your website's traffic. I'd like to thank Dot Store for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Dot Store helps you increase your website's traffic and your store's visibility. Highlighting that your website is an online store can help customers find you online and easily understand your type of business. Already, over 1 million sellers use Dot Store Domains, including some big names in the celebrity and influencer space. Base, such as Rihanna, Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. Beast, Zach King, and some huge brands including Discord and Emirates. That store helps you save more and also helps sellers unlock exclusive discounts on many different types of e-commerce tools and platforms. To order your domain, first you're just going to want to search for your domain name on their website and see if it's available. Once you've picked your domain, you can add it to your cart and also select if you'd like to secure your website with an SSL or get a matching business email. Those two are optional. I'm going to deselect privacy protection and I also have a special code for you guys so you can take this price down to just 9 Cents. Use my code BEVSTORE in all caps. You can buy your .store domain on www.get.store and you can use their current limited time promotion or you can use my discount code BEVSTORE to get your order down to just 99 cents. And right below that, I would highly recommend featuring your store policies. Here you can feature your returns policy and your shipping policies. And to link those, you're gonna click this little link icon. And to link those here on Shopify, you're just gonna open your website, click on the footer, and you're gonna select to display your policy links. Then when customers click on those links, it will take them to your refunds and your shipping policies. If you don't know where to set up your return policies, you're just gonna open Shopify and click settings, then policies. Here is where you can write your return policy, your terms of service, your shipping policy, and here is where you can also put your contact info. For this section, you can just put your contact email. Then when you open one of those policy pages on your website, you're just gonna copy that link and paste it right here. Then right below that, I would recommend putting a link to your contact page. And once you're finished, this is how you can create a detailed product description. Then for the media section, this is where you can import any pictures and videos of the product. Next, you can go ahead and put the price. You can choose to either charge tax on the product. When you deselect this, the tax will automatically be taken out of the price. You can also type in the cost per item here. This way you can find out how much profit you're making per sale. Then you can put in the amount of inventory you have available for the product. Then you can put in the product weight. All right, and so far, here's how the product is going to appear on your website. 
By the way, if you're interested in this Shopify website, I do have this website template available on my store. I have many different Shopify website templates for a variety of online businesses, and these will help save you a ton of time from designing your website from scratch. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. These are editable website templates that you can add your photos and your products to. I have a full collection designed just for makeup and cosmetic businesses. I also have many other types of website templates for many different niches of businesses. These Shopify templates will help you save a ton of time. I will link these website templates in my description box below. And next, I'll be showing you how to add variants to the product. So right here is where you can add any sizing or color variants. Then you can put your option values. And right here under available is where you can insert the number of inventory you have in stock for each color. And when you click this image icon, you can upload images to match each of those variants. Under status, you'll want to make sure that the product is set to active. And if this is just a draft product, you're going to want to set it to draft. This way it won't appear in your online store. Under product organization, you can put in the category for the product. Then you can put the product type. You can put the vendor for the product and you can just put your business name if the product is handmade. Then you can assign it to one of your product collections and you can insert the tags for the product. You want to insert tags for your product. This way when customers are searching for different products on your store, the proper products will show up based on which search tags you put. All right, and once you're finished, you can open up that product here in your store. And here is the display of the product. First off, I'm gonna click on this little product box. And under desktop layout, you can change the layout of the pictures. Personally, I like to choose the layout thumbnail carousel. I feel that this is just a cleaner layout for the pictures. And as you can see, when customers click on those variants, the assigned picture will apply. And over here, you have the option to remove any of these boxes. And you can also turn off the sticky content if you want the product description to stay in place. All right, and next I'll be showing you a free way that you can set up your reviews on your website. All right, so here on Shopify in this little search bar, you're gonna open the Shopify app store. I'm gonna search product reviews and for a fully free app, you'll want to look for an app that says free to install. I'll be installing the Air product reviews app. When you open your website theme, you're gonna click this little app embeds icon. Then you're gonna enable the Air reviews. Then right below this product, you're gonna click add section, click apps, then you're gonna add a review box. I'm gonna select the grid layout. And this is where your reviews will display. And when customers click this little stars badge, they will be able to leave a review and they'll need to insert an email to match their order. And if you'd like to add a little mini link to your reviews, right under the title, you're gonna click add block. Then you can insert a stars rating. And when customers click on this little icon, it will take them straight down to your reviews section. And also here's how this product page is going to appear on mobile. All right, and as one last little bonus tip, I'll be showing you how you can create different cover photos if you don't have a ton of pictures for the product. All right, so I'm here on Canva and I'll be showing you how to create these product photos. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics for your business. All right, so we open up this page and the dimensions are 1000 by 1000 pixels. When you click upload, then upload files, you can upload your product photos here. And I'll be showing you a few different ways you can optimize one picture. Under elements, I've searched for a silk background and you can search for many different textures of backgrounds and you can go ahead and upload one of these. And by the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. And you can duplicate this picture. And for an example, if you have this lip gloss in many different colors, when you click adjust, this is where you can alter this picture to match all the other shades that you have. Then I'm gonna click add page. And for this next one, I'll be showing you how to piece together a couple different photos. All right, so you can upload one of your brand pictures. Then you can upload a picture of your product. Then for the third type of picture, this is where you can highlight the size dimensions for the product. And this is how you can create a little sizing page to mention the dimensions of the product. And just in case you're selling lip glosses, I'll show you how you can create one of those little swatch pages. I'm gonna set the background to white. Then under elements, I'm gonna search for one of those paint stroke elements. Then you're gonna click colors and you can use the little color picker to swatch a color from the lip gloss. And you can create more of these little swatch pages to represent the lip gloss in every color. 
Alright, and once you're finished, that's how I created this product page on Shopify. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates, and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format, and here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.